This film introduces two devices, the Draeger XAM 3500 for the measurement of up to four gases, and the Draeger XAM 8000, which can monitor up to seven gases. This video shows the XAM 8000 with only four sensors. The handling of the XAM 3500 works in the same way as for the XAM 8000. The Draeger XAM 8000 is a portable gas detector for clearance measurements in confined spaces and continuous monitoring of the concentration of multiple gases in ambient air in the workplace and in explosion hazard areas. The gas detector is able to measure up to seven different gases, depending on the Draeger sensors installed. The following sensors are available. Gas warnings are issued based on the sensor configuration. The gas detector can be operated in diffusion mode or optionally in pump mode. The device is extremely robust and certified for X-Zone 0 and temperature class T4. The XAM 8000 is particularly easy to use thanks to the large color display and the three multifunction keys. During use, the keys perform various functions. These functions are indicated by the dynamic navigation bar in the display just above the keys. Located above the display are the horn, the pump inlet and outlet, and the gas inlets for the sensors. The top section of the Draeger XAM 8000 accommodates the readily visible LEDs, which illuminate red, yellow, or green, depending on the device's operating state. Additional information is provided in the Alarms chapter. The pump is activated by simply screwing on the pump adapter. Toggling between diffusion and pump mode is therefore possible at any time during use. In diffusion mode, the pump does not consume any power and pump wear is reduced. The pump is equipped with a dust and water filter. The filter can easily be replaced by the user and provides additional protection for the sensor membranes. A Draeger sampling hose of up to 45 meters in length can be connected to the pump. The XAM 8000 is equipped with the rechargeable lithium-ion battery, which is charged inductively. Consequently, contaminations have no effect on the charging process and the contacts cannot become corroded. The gas detector switches off automatically as soon as it is placed in the charging cradle and the green LED on the cradle starts to flash. After eight hours of operation, the charging process takes approximately four hours. The battery is fully charged after 10 hours at the latest. An extensive range of accessories help to make the device convenient to use, including shoulder strap with an area for customized labels or marks, a pedestal for area monitoring. Draeger also offers a module for the automatic test and calibration station, XDOC, for the device. Other accessories are described in the technical documents for the device. The XAM 8000 is turned on by pressing the green OK button for three seconds. Once successfully turned on, the device performs the following actions. The display shows the startup screen and the current software version. A self-test is then run. Once successfully started, the LEDs flash, an audible signal sounds and the vibration alarm is activated. There is the option of displaying a customized information screen. After that, the alarm thresholds and any expired intervals for a bump test or a calibration, for example, are displayed. The device is now in measuring mode. To activate measuring mode quickly, the alarm threshold display can be skipped. The device is ready to start measuring when the green LED at the top of the device illuminates. An illuminated yellow LED indicates that the XAM 8000 is in a special state, warming up the sensors, for example. Status information appears at the top edge of the display, including the time, the battery status, and the current measurement mode. The navigation bar is located at the bottom edge and consists of three symbols. In measuring mode, these symbols perform the following functions. Pressing the left function key opens the menu. The OK key displays the gas concentrations for each sensor in a larger font. 
Pressing the same key again will return you to the overview. The function key on the right opens the Quick menu. To turn off the device, simultaneously press the two blue navigation keys until the displayed countdown has elapsed. The device can also be turned off via the Switch Off option in the menu. The visual alarm flashes and the audible alarm produces a sound to signal the end of the shutdown frequency. To carry out a fresh air calibration, open the menu with the left navigation key. Confirm the prompt. Then select the Fresh Air Calibration menu sub-item. You also have the option of securing this function with a password. The Fresh Air Calibration can be carried out as soon as all sensors have run for the required warm-up time. To launch the Quick menu, please select the star in measuring mode. You can save up to six preferred functions as favorites using the Draeger CC Vision PC software. The day-night mode for the display, or audible signal muting, for example, can be selected for the Quick menu. Various information, including prompts about errors or warnings, can be selected from the Info menu. The procedure for detecting errors or warnings in measuring mode is described in the Alarm section. Simultaneously pressing the two blue function keys takes you from anywhere in the menu to the Monitoring option for swiftly activating this standard mode. Generally speaking, you can change alarm thresholds and parameters using the Draeger CC Vision PC software. The A1 pre-alarm sounds when the concentration is higher than the set threshold value. There is not yet acute danger. This alarm can be acknowledged by pressing the green OK button. An A2 main alarm indicates danger to life. If this alarm sounds, leave the hazard area immediately. This alarm is non-acknowledgeable. The alarm display can be optionally supplemented by a hazard symbol. The STEL alarm, short time exposure limit, indicates that a gas concentration has exceeded an average value of 15 minutes. Leave the hazard area immediately. A TWA alarm, time weighted average, sounds when an average value, calculated from an 8 hour shift, is exceeded. You must leave the hazard area. The battery pre-alarm is triggered when the device battery has approximately 20 minutes remaining. The battery main alarm signals that the battery has reached the end of its capacity. The device then switches off automatically after a few seconds. If the instrument has an error present, an X symbol appears in the display. Once the alarm has been acknowledged, this symbol remains in the status line. Details of the error are shown in the info menu. Resume your work with a different device and hand the faulty device to the service department. In case of a channel error, the device will need to be calibrated or possibly repaired. In case of a significant overrange, i.e. excessive concentration of flammable substances on the CAT-X channel, a blocking alarm is triggered. This alarm can be acknowledged by manually switching off the gas detector and switching on in fresh air. There is one exception to this. For methane, the CAT-X sensor offers the option of automatic range switchover within the range of 0 to 100 volume percent. In this case, there is no blocking alarm. This option is only available with the XAM 8000. An over-range alarm is triggered when the measuring range has been exceeded. The ambient air contains concentrations that exceed the measuring range of the sensor concerned. Leave the hazard area immediately. If the measured value falls into the negative range, a so-called underrange alarm is triggered. This situation can occur, for example, if a fresh air calibration has been carried out in a range within which concentrations were already present. Please carry out a fresh air calibration in an area where fresh air prevails. In case of a special state, the audible operating signal is deactivated. Special states are indicated by a yellow visual signal on the top LED. No alarm is triggered.
The pump adapter must be screwed on in order to turn on the pump. To do this, place the pump adapter on the thread of the front cover, then align and tighten. The pump will turn on automatically. Always use the pump adapter with the dust and water filter. The pump test will start automatically. Close the gas inlet at the end of the probe until the leak test is complete. Then release the gas inlet. If the leak test is successful, pump mode will be activated. If the pump test is unsuccessful, check the probe, hose and adapter as required and repeat the test. Once the device has passed the test, it is ready for operation in pump mode. Before every measurement, flush the sampling hose or probe with the target gas. Flooding is required to reduce negative influences, such as the gas transport time, for example. As a rule of thumb, a time of 3 seconds per meter can be assumed for standard gases. Wait until the values on the display appear stable. Special gases may require more time. Please note, after flooding with aggressive gases, Purge the pump with clean air for several minutes in order to extend the pump life. To end the pump measurement, loosen the pump adapter screw and pull off the adapter. The instrument will automatically switch to diffusion mode. The functions of this chapter are only available in the XAM 8000. The Draeger XAM 8000 provides a measurement wizard for carrying out the measurements in confined spaces. Open the menu in measuring mode and select the confined space option. This function can be configured to appear before or after the password. Then follow the prompts given by the wizard. The calculated flooding time shows the minimum waiting time required to route gas from the sampling point to the sensors. The instrument calculates the flooding time based on the entered hose length, the measurement gas setting and the temperature thresholds. The leak search function has a similar structure. This function is likewise selected via the menu. Once the pump test is completed successfully, a window will appear in which the gases can be displayed in the form of a bar chart. This improves the overview. The diagrams show the current values and the peak values. In single gas view, an audible signal sounds at the same time. The frequency of this signal increases as the gas concentration rises. If a gas reaches the pre-alarm threshold, the gas alarm is displayed. There is also a wizard for a measurement using a photoionization detector with pre-tubes for a selective measurement. This function is only available if the device has a PID sensor and a pump. During PID pre-tube measurement, the visual, audible and vibration alarms and the alarm evaluation function are deactivated. At the same time, the target gas and the peak values are shown on the display. None of the other sensors are active. To mount a pre-tube holder, first screw the pump adapter, including the filter, onto the device. After this, the pre-tube holder can be attached once the wizard is asking for this. Optionally, you can also use a short probe. To carry out a measurement with the photoionization detector and pre-tube, open the menu. and select the Benzene pre-tube option. You will then see a dialog for the fresh air calibration. Carry out this step using a carbon pre-tube or skip the step by left-clicking on X. During this process, the carbon pre-tube will remove any existing hydrocarbons. Follow the prompts given by the wizard. Next, select the pre-tube you require. 
The options are benzene and humidity. Open the Draeger tube you have selected. and fit it into the pre-tube holder. Pay attention to the direction of the arrow. The arrow on the tube must be pointing towards the device. Then confirm the dialog on the instrument. Now follow the prompts given by the wizard. To close the wizard, select the X symbol in measuring mode and then confirm the dialog. The instrument has an infrared interface. You can connect your device to a PC via a USB cable. The CC Vision PC software, which you can download from www.draga.com software, allows you to change settings on the device, read and or delete the data logger. Before carrying out safety relevant measurements, check the function by means of a bump test and inspect all alarm elements. If national regulations exist, the bump test must be performed in accordance with these regulations. A malfunction may lead to incorrect measurement results, which in turn can cause serious damage to health. The bump test checks whether the gas entries are free, the sensors react to gas, and the alarm elements are triggered. If the device fails the test, perform a calibration. The calibration procedure is described in the technical manual which is available on the product page at www.draga.com. You can also carry out a bump test using Draga x -Doc, the automatic test and calibration station. Insert a device into the module. The Draga x -Doc will detect the device and automatically record it in the integrated database. As long as the test is running, the module LED will flash blue. The LED on the module turns green to indicate the test has completed successfully. A green field also appears on the touchscreen. Tap this field to display further information. You can remove the device. The XM8000 can be ordered with an optional Bluetooth module. For many countries, this module is already pre-selected as a factory setting. However, it is possible for the Draga service team to retrofit the module. The Bluetooth function is used to connect the XM8000 to other Bluetooth-enabled devices, such as smartphones. To use the Bluetooth function, Draga offers software such as CSE Connect. This software solution digitizes the exchange of information in the confined space entry testing procedure. The data is transferred between the smartphone app and the web application via a cloud connection. The Draeger XM8000 gas detection device communicates directly with the smartphone app. This helps you manage your gas detection tasks more efficiently and cost-effectively. The Draeger CSE Connect app is available in the app stores for Android and iOS operating systems. Draeger offers a free light version of the app with which measurement values can be sent by email, for example. A license fee is payable for the full version, which offers a connection to the CSE Connect web-based application. Find out more about CSE Connect on our website www.draga.com. The Bluetooth function appears as an icon in the status bar on the display. The following three scenarios are possible. The icon is crossed out. Bluetooth is available but has not been activated. The icon is not crossed out. Bluetooth has been activated. There is a dot to the left and right of the icon. The device has been paired by Bluetooth to another device, for example a smartphone. Bluetooth is switched on using the following menu steps. Open menu. Log in using password. Open the settings menu item. Then select Bluetooth. The function can now be switched on or off. The XM8000 can be connected to suitable smartphones in order to use the optional Draeger CSE Connect app. To do so, proceed as follows. Bluetooth must be activated in the XM8000 and on the smartphone. Open the CSE Connect app and select Connect. 
select the XAM8000 gas detection device. If multiple instruments are within range, you can identify the selected device by its serial number, which is imprinted on the gas detection device. To be able to do this, the device must have already been connected to the smartphone once before. In older versions of the app for the Android operating system, it is also possible to identify the device via its MAC address. This and other information can be found in the Info menu item by clicking on the right-hand blue button under Device Information. Accept the pairing on the smartphone. The devices are now paired. Further information on pairing via Bluetooth can be found in the instructions for use of the smartphone being used. If the smartphone supports this function, it is also possible to pair devices by means of comparing or entering a PIN. To open this option, select Info in the menu and open Pairing Request. Check that the pins on both devices match and then confirm. If necessary, enter the PIN in the smartphone if the smartphone requests it. You can also find all relevant approval information for the Bluetooth function in the menu. To do so, select Info and then Approvals.